Hey y'all, welcome to Survival on the Skinny with Stephen Kenny. That's me. Okay. Today what I want to go over is the driest subject in survival, and that is water. Water needs to be filtered, purified, then you can consume it. Okay? Keeps you alive. Remember, three days without water, you're done. Anyhow, what we're going to do is we're going to build a water filter using a 2 liter bottle. You can use a 20 ounce bottle, you can use bamboo, all of us the same, but we're going to use a 20 ounce or a 2 liter bottle. Um, all the material we're going to use is sourced material. You are going to need some charcoal. Build a fire, drag out some coals, let them cool, there's your charcoal. You're gonna need some sand or some fine dirt, okay? Some grass, hay, whatever, and some rocks. Two liter bottle. Last but not least is a way to suspend the bottle upside down. So we're gonna use a green sapling, okay? We'll, we'll bend this sapling into a ring and I'll show you how to attach it and it'll hold the bottle upside down. Anyhow, so let's get started, shall we? First off, you want to cut the bottom off the bottle. Right here where it stops going straight up, just cut it off right there, okay? Uh, won't take very much, just do a little choppy choppy. Get the bottom off of it. Save this. Don't throw it away. Now that you got the bottom off of it, you're going to need to fix two holes in it. Okay, right opposite of each other. So about an inch and a half down, cut your hole. Now whatever you're using to suspend this, again, I'm going to use a sapling. But if you're going to use some rope or a shoelace or something like that, the hole doesn't need to be as big, but it needs to be big enough to accommodate whatever you're going to whatever you're going to suspend it with. That ought to work. Next, you need one rock. What I'm looking for is a rock that is too big to go through the hole but small enough to go into the hole. This one will work. Right. Surely we got a rock in here that can do that. See that? The rock is in the neck of the bottle but it's not got the neck plugged up. And what that's for is to keep this from clogging up. Next, we're gonna put in some charcoal. The charcoal needs to be about the size of a fingernail, okay? Needs to be about the size of a fingernail, so small pieces. The smaller, the finer it's gonna, it'll, it'll filter. Um, You're going to fill this up to where we got a lot of sand in here too. We don't want that. We just want charcoal. You're going to fill this up to the edge where the bottle comes to here, where it comes to this straight part. That's where your charcoal level is going to be. So you want all this full of charcoal. Next step is the sand. The sand, you want about the same amount of sand as the charcoal. About 
like so. Being sure you leave enough room for the grass. Okay, y'all see what we got happening there? Next is the grass. Now the grass, I like to take, I don't need all this. I like to take the grass and just kind of fold it up and make a little ball out of it. Something like so. Take this, you're just gonna shove it down in there. Put a little more in there. There we go, that's pretty good right there. Okay, also what we got going on charcoal, sand, grass. Next is going to be some rocks. So let's get some rocks in there. Now you're going to fill it up to the hole. Fill it up to the hole that you drilled for your suspension magnet. Whatever you're using, whether it be cordage, green sapling, whatever but you're going to fill it up with gravel up to that point. Okay. Now, take your green sapling and run it through your holes. Now let us run through the hole. Take your sapling and twist it together. To do that, just come bring it together in a circle, going slow so not to break it. Come on into a circle. It's going to go where it kind of it wants to go and let it do it so it don't break. Come around. And loop that through like so. Like so. Now you've got it suspended. Party it up a little bit. Once you've got it suspended, you want to fill the rest of this top almost to the very top with gravel. Okay, just throw you some gravel in there. That's it. Now, to tell you what each layer is going to do, I went and stuck my jug down in the ditch. Got some nice, clean, pretty water. The gravel is going to stop the large particles, sticks, pieces of dirt, leaves, that kind of thing. It's going to sit on top. You'll be able to pick it off. The grass is your next layer of filtration, which is going to catch a little larger pieces. Okay, That's uh, going to catch a little bit of larger pieces and some of the stuff that you can see very lightly, frog eggs, tadpoles, that sort of thing. The sand is then going to catch and filter out a lot more of the contaminants. The sand is actually going to take care of the mud, the dirt particles, that sort of thing. And the charcoal, last but not least the charcoal down here on the bottom, is what's going to really do a lot of the purification part of it, okay? It's not going to purify it, now let me make myself clear. You will need to boil the water once it runs through this filter, okay? Uh, you know, you're using charcoal that's straight up off the dirt. Boil the water. All right, be safe. And so what's going to come out of here is going to be filtered water, not purified. The charcoal will aid in the purification, but it's not purified. But it is filtered. 
all right this will look clear I'm gonna set this up and I'm gonna run some water through it bring you in a little close so you can see what it looks like and we'll purify some more all right don't go nowhere all right what we have here we've got our filter suspended remember the bottom hold on to that for a minute you're gonna pour your water in through but in the very beginning do not just stick your cup under there a lot of the very fine sand the charcoal the real fine particles those are going to rinse out first let them rinse out uh, before you use your cup so go ahead pour some water in now it's going to take a few minutes It'll take it a couple of runs just so it'll it'll clear out. Everything's got to get good and wet and soaked and saturated and all that good stuff. Again, this is filtering water. This is not purifying water. This charcoal will not get rid of like Guardian and things like that that will give you really bad diarrhea and make you just plumb sick and of course, diarrhea equals dehydration, which you're doing more harm than good. You can tell there that water looks a whole lot better coming out already. Like I say, you got to run it through a little bit. Again, this is where you've got a, a good water source, a good solid water source. Usually takes about a full two liter, two to three liters worth of water to go through it before it really starts filtering well. Looking better and better. Now here's my milk jug. Same water, I have the same dish, just more of it. To remove the skepticism, So this water is nasty. It is filthy. That's filthy water there, folks. Anyhow, I'm keep doing this till it's starting to run pretty clear. Looking better and better. The more you do it, the more this filter is going to work, okay? So keep filtering, keep running the water through it. Okay, y'all. Um, what I've done is I went, got more of this nasty, nasty water, and I put the two liter I was pouring out of under it so I could catch what I'm filtering. Uh, you can see the difference there. I'm just going to run it through so you see what I'm talking about. So what I've been doing is catching the water. Now we're going to do this water again. Same way. Go on and just fill it on up and let it go. Again, you're filtering water. And the more times you pass it through the filter, the better it's gonna look. See, that's already better. So, that's what I'm saying, folks. This is a filter, it does work. 
it will not purify. To purify, you can put it right here. See the difference? Lighter and lighter every time. You can put this on the fire. This will boil and will not burn the plastic. But if you're camping, hiking, you got usually got a metal cup. Go on and put it in a metal cup. Get you a cup full. And put it on the fire. So you can see how clean this water looks. You see down in there? Look at that. So you got your cup of water. Set it on the coals. And when it boils, you're golden. Parasites die at 170, 175 degrees kills the parasites that do harm to you. So to debunk the myth of how long you should boil water, when it comes to a rolling boil at this altitude is 212 degrees, as you go up a thousand feet in altitude, it drops about one degree. So if you're on the top of Mount Mitchell at 6,000 feet, it'll still boil at 206, which is way hotter than what needs to be to purify the water. So get it up to a rolling boil, just not, not just a bubble bubble, but a rolling boil, and you're golden, you're safe. You drink it, pull it off the fire, let it cool, drink away, all right? Thanks for watching. I would enjoy some comments and some questions, um, and I'll be happy to do another one of these and maybe slow it down a little bit and do it a little bit longer. Anyway, all right, thanks for watching.